Hello everyone, it's the Canadian Wi-Fi here. Welcome back everyone to episode 5 of The Road to 10,000. I'm going to start off this video with a quick preface that um, something happened last time and I tried to upload with Sony Vegas and YouTube. Something messed up and the video didn't end up getting published. It currently sits at 20 views and uh, it's a pretty big drop off from the 170 or so that episode 3 got. So I assume a lot of you missed episode 4. It's going to be the first link down below. Go check it out if you haven't seen it yet. It's four races where I do well. all right, I suppose. Um, had some suggestions that I finally got to take a look at from episode three. Um, this is the first time I've actually sat down, read all the comments, and uh, I don't know, taken taken a look. Uh, also, shoutouts to 5,500 points. We're already like 500 points in four episodes. That's, that kind of took me back. It's like, wow, this is actually gonna. If I keep up at this pace, which is a ridiculous pace, um, it won't be too long. But I got a couple requests for characters. Uh, Razzery wanted me to try out Luigi, which actually isn't too bad. And um, someone else wanted me to try out Link. And specifically, someone else asked for Link on a bike. And I tried a bike earlier in a couple random races on another account. Holy goodness, is it like downright impossible. So, I, I, I messed that right up. <laughs> Damn. I was actually really close to getting Link on the Master Cycle with Slick Tires, which is what I wanted to do. <sighs> I don't even know what we're on right now. I guess this is going to be part of the challenge. I, I guess I'll do one race with whatever we're running as as Link, and then I'll back out of the lobby, which there's only five people in, and then I will go... Okay, okay. <laughs> we got Link on the pizza delivery bike with button tires. Oh my goodness. Not exactly viable. Um, I do believe this is Outward Drift. It is. Okay. So, there are two types of bikes, which you'll see in this video. One acts identical. Oh, that's just rude. Um. Oh, oh my god. And by identical, I mean rather different. Um, this one, I believe, has the same stats as the pipe frame. And because it drifts outwards, as you can see, it kind of works similarly. Oh, can't even get the inside line. Um, and you can hop with it, you can slide with it. I actually got trip shrooms, which is nice. I see a trip red in front of me, though, so I'm going to stay back a little bit. I'll do the cut, because it won't put me in front of him. Uh, is he going to do this cut? No. I hope he runs out of sh shells. Uh, if not, I'm about to get red shell, but it looks like I'm not. No, here they, here they come. <laughs> You're also about to hear the awesome part of the music. Which you normally just do not hear. Also, I'm not going to be an idiot and use my boost. Uh, my bullet bill on the boost panel. I'll wait till I'm past the boost panel. Uh, you can actually click coins in the bullet bill. Which is quite nice. Uh, that person's actually going around. Which means if I pull something here, I might actually get a first on this setup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> can someone explain to me what happened at the end of that race? <laughs> As you can see right now, at the end of Big Blue, you look directly down into the water, which is pretty neat. Um, well, pizza delivery bike with uh, roller wheels and Link. There you go, have a first place. I'll be right back with the proper character setup that I wanted to try in this video. <laughs> okay, so like I said, there's two types of bikes. As you can see there next to the word city tripper, there's a picture of a motorcycle. And then if you go up, there's a picture of like a, like a sporty motorcycle, I suppose. The ones that have the more full body, or I suppose that's more of a picture of a dirt bike. Um, Dirt bike picture icon bikes, as you can see there's Okay, let's not get too lost here. <laughs> As you can see, there's a bunch of different bikes. Uh, a lot of them are outward drift, which behaves very similarly to carts. They can hop, they can slide, they're not too bad. Um, then there's actual inward drifting bikes, such as the Master Cycle and Yoshi bike. They're not as viable, because they cannot fire hop. Their speed does not increase when they hop. And they're also really fucking difficult to use if you're not used to it. As you can see, uh, Link on the Master Cycle isn't actually too unviable. Um, I'm going to go with the heavy glider, even though the Hylian kite would fit him better, <laughs> just because, you know, Link. But uh, there's the setup I was actually trying to go for. It's an inward drifting bike. I know someone wanted me to try it. So, Jesus, this lobby is tiny. I'll be back when we actually get to the racing. 
Okay, so <laughs> we're finally inside. We got an inward drifting bike. We got Big Blue again. Uh, Mario Circuit and Rainbow Road. I'm just gonna go random. We actually have a full 12 lobby here, it looks like. Um, it's something I could guess I could touch on here, a small little learning timbit. Uh, you may be wondering why certain courses appear a lot more often than others. For some reason, whenever there's a new DLC pack that came out, uh, DLC 2 is the most recent as it came out April 20th, I believe. Um, whenever there's a new DLC pack release, Nintendo gives priority to those tracks in the random selection. So like, you know how it's, it gives you three tracks to select from? Um, the, pa the tracks from the newest DLC will appear there more commonly, which is really annoying to be- oh, it's okay for the first few days, maybe the first week. It's like, hey, yeah, let's all play the new tracks. But after literally two and a half months, it just gets annoying because now you already so far in the series, we've played a lot of Big Blue, we've played a lot of Cheese Land, we've played- you know what I mean? You've seen a lot of them in the track selection. And uh, you kind of forget about the original 32 tracks, which are really good. Like, there's only a handful I don't like. Anyway, uh, here's an inward drifting bike. As you can see, you can so- oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I somehow still got an item. Uh, you can slide on it, as you can see what I'm doing right now. I don't know if that actually increases your top speed or not, but... Jesus, like you cannot hop at all, as you can see on my screen. Oh my god. I don't know how many races I'm gonna do with this, because it's just so hard. Oh my god. Is this even fun to watch? I'm not sure. I I have never used an inward drifting bike, let alone like Mario Kart Wii or Mario Kart 8. Um Oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna get lapped, straight up. So yeah, as you can see, you can slide on them. I'm not sure if it actually does anything. I um, assume soft drifting still exists, but because you're drifting inward, this is where the term inward drift comes from. Uh, most powerful item in the game, shock. Hey, I actually caught up to some people. Okay, drift now. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hopping doesn't help. Uh, I just... I'm at a loss when it comes to this. Um, I'm gonna hit some of these shrooms here. I just jumped over that red shell. Okay, look, I'll show you what hopping does. As you can see, just visually, you're not going any faster, which is very weird to me as trip shrooms is normally the best catch-up item in the entire game. Uh, a lot of people complain about it in this game, like, if you actually hop, <laughs> trip shrooms is incredible. Alright, I'm somehow getting back into a decent place. Maybe I'll use this for more than one race? Maybe I just need it to warm up a little bit? That's not very good, but <laughs> considering how far back I was at the start. I'll go, yeah, plus zero. So the thing is, is the more I try out random combinations that you guys suggest, the more theoretical fun the series will be because I'm enjoying myself right now. I've never used an inward drifting bike to begin with as you saw on my selection screen there with the characters. Uh, there was a there was a star next to it means I've never used it in my life. Uh, these are actually three new tracks and I love all of them. Mount Wario is my favorite track in the game along with most of the other population of Mario Kart 8 players. So if we get it I'm actually gonna be kind of sad because I'm not using the Blue Falcon. Uh, I'm gonna go random even though I love those three tracks. Um, We'll see what we get though. Uh, if I have to do Mount Wario on an inward drifting bike, I guess I'll count my losses, but it doesn't look like we will be. Yeah, we will be. <sighs> Alright, time for Mount Wario, everyone. This is the most in depth and difficult at a tech level track in the entire game. Literally, it's a, it, the world record is around a minute 40. I think it's a minute 40.9. There, there's not. <laughs> There's not a stretch of more than about two or three seconds where you don't have to do something frame perfect. It's incredibly precise. And to get a good time on this track requires you to be very good at the game. I'm on an inward drifting bike. I also just burned out, which has nothing to do with me being on an inward drifting bike. Uh, I'll see how we do. Okay. It's very weird though, because I'm used to having, like look how long I had to wait there. Yeah, that was probably too long, but like, <laughs> You have to wait a lot longer. Normally I'd be drifting about now. 
Oh wow, this is awful on the ice. Can I get the shroom spot? Ooh, okay, that was awful, but I'm in fourth somehow. <laughs> It. Worst use of that cut ever goes to me. So is this what people who actually use inward drifting bikes on this game drive like? Because Jesus Christ, this isn't fun. Ah, oh, fuck. You also can't hop on it at all. Hopping is such a huge part of this game and you just cannot hop. Ew. Definitely gonna be, uh, this will be the only episode I think where I use an inward drifting bike. But I know a lot of my fans or a lot of the viewers at least, I wanted to see. Uh, also, by the way, it's faster to hop up the middle here and get the glider, because you also get a box. It is at least with outward drift. <laughs> I'm not so sure with inward. Ooh, ugh, that was bad. Can someone pass me now? No? Okay. Why did I pull trips in second? I hate this game sometimes. I feel bad. Like, I don't want to win this way. I'm going to throw them both forward. And uh, see if I can actually win the race properly. I can't even do Mount Warrior Hop. So yeah, as you can see, uh, or hear from the music even, this track is incredible. It's hands down my favorite track that's ever existed. You can kind of do Mount Oreo Hops. And I'm going to get Blue Shell here anyway. Ah. Uh. Okay, he took away his bananas. Can I snipe him now? No. Oh no. How many people? Still fourth. Somehow. Still fourth somehow. Okay. There's a plus 11. Uh, I think I'm going to end off this video on the master cycle with Link and knock out two birds with one stone. I don't really like Link. I think I mentioned that one time on a stream. Uh, Link is probably my least favorite character in this game. He looks really awkward in any cart. He just makes stupid fucking noises constantly. It just drives me insane. When there's a Link behind me, it actually makes me upset. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I figured I'd give him a shot though, and there's no better time to give him a shot than if I get to ride the Master Cycle, which is something I've never done before. And, uh, I know Link and the Master Cycle just kind of go together, you know? Uh, so far, I would rate <laughs> Inward Drift as mediocre at absolute best, uh, as we actually get my second favorite track in the entire game, Cheese Land. Go figure, right? The first, the first video where I don't use Blue Falcon Pipe Frame is the video where we get my top two favorite tracks of the game. I don't even want to talk too much in this video because Cheese Land's music is hands down the best in the game, but I mean, you came here to be entertained. So, man, I can't hop. I'm like constantly drifting too early. This is weird. Let's see how much knowledge of the track pays off for me. Okay. Soft drifting, soft drifting still works. That is confirmed. Holy, okay. Drifting is so weird though. Like, you basically have to relearn all the tracks. This is so bizarre. Can I get inside that? Yeah. Alright, I slid down. I don't- that didn't increase my speed. It just made me feel good. Alright, and then you soft drift on this last corner. Alright, Link, we have a decent lead here. <laughs> uh, Cheese Land, by the way. As you can hear, the music is fantastic. <sighs> um, Cheese Land is a track that has two absolutely massive shortcuts on the second half of it uh, which is why it's generally picked in clan wars it's like a reset track uh, if your team ends up getting really bad positions you can pretty much choose cheese land and know that uh, the team who just got like top four will not be able to hold those positions as you can see here right in front of me look at that glider look how much of the turn that is going to skip if you have a mushroom it literally saves you about four seconds and uh, as you can see that bowser flying across there he took a different shortcut, which I can point out to you, lap 3. Uh, it saves not as much, because it's kind of awkward where it lets you off. Um, but it's still better than nothing to take if you got trip shrooms in that last item box. Um, it's really hard not to win this race, to be honest, <laughs> when you get trip shrooms on lap 3. 
as long as the guy in front doesn't have a huge lead, which I don't really. Like, I don't have an insurmountable lead because it's cheese lane. As you can see, look at that glider to my right there. Uh, it just... Wow. Also, look at, look at Richard fail on the second to last corner. Is he going to get past? He's going to get red shell, blue shell. <laughs> and I don't have trick speed back yet, so I'm going to get passed by the Bowser at the line. But fourth place on a freaking inward drifting bike isn't bad. You saw me at the start of this video. You saw me on Rainbow Road. You guys all thought, oh, God, he's using inward drift. And he's just driving off the course. I think I recovered decently at the very least. Um, that was a very interesting video for me to make. I've, like I said, I've never used inward drift in my life. Probably never going to again. But uh, there is a little insight on the different uh, carts and stuff in this game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, <sighs> rating would be much appreciated. Go back and check out episode 4 if you've not seen it yet. Uh, because like I said, like 20 people have watched the video at this point, And I highly doubt the drop off from episode 3 to episode 4 is going to be like... <laughs> the majority of the viewers but yeah anyway um <laughs> thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it and i hope to see you next time bye guys